Hello, St. Paul's United Church and friends who are tuned in to another devotion. I uh, feel so privileged and honored to be part of, of these devotions, especially for this week as we are focusing on some of the one another statements from the New Testament. Um, in, in Paul's words in Ephesians 4 verse 31 and 32, probably the most important and most difficult one another statements we find there. In, in Ephesians 4 verse 31 and 32, Paul says the following, he says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil. And then he says, instead, so get rid of all of these things and instead focus on these things. He said, instead, be kind to one another, be tender-hearted, forgiving one another. And then he gives a reason why we ought to forgive one another. So he says, instead, be kind to one another, be tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. So Paul says, once you realize how God has forgiven you through Christ, you would be much more inclined to forgive another human being. You see, we all talk about how God sent his son to the earth and how it pained the heart of God, how it pained and it broke God to see his son naked, dirty, thirsty, on that cross, helpless and vulnerable on that cross. And God was able to rescue him from that cross. And yet, God chose not to rescue him from that cross because our forgiveness depended on that action of the cross and of the tomb and the resurrection. And so Paul is saying, as you, as you imagine how God, what, what it took God to forgive you through his only beloved son. You ought to take that same step towards each other. And it's interesting how that word, how the word one, that word just as comes from a Greek word, comes from two Greek words actually, from two Greek words, kata and horse. Kata, horse, katos, meaning just as. And one of the writers was saying, it means according to the manner in which. According to the same degree in which. So if you read the text again, when it says forgiving one another, according to the manner in which God forgave you. And I know it's difficult when someone has betrayed you, when someone has hurt you, when someone has broken a promise, when someone has broken their marriage vows. It's difficult to get to that point of forgiving one another. And forgiveness doesn't mean we have to pretend that because we are in Christ, we are not broken, we, we are not hurt, we are not angry. But Paul says, if you, if you get if you get rid of all of that, and the way you get rid of all of that is you embrace the forgiveness of God by understanding just as, just as, katos, just as God has forgiven me in Christ, I am, I am supposed to take a step towards forgiveness towards my brother and sister who have hurt me. In church these days, it's so, F uh, so easy to get offended. It's so easy to walk away from church. It's so easy to walk away from a community or a group because someone has hurt us and we are angry and we struggle to forgive. But I love that, that old cliche quote that says, when we don't forgive, unforgiveness is like drinking a deadly poison and hoping that the other person would die. But we who live out of our Christ identity, we know just as God forgave me, I am to walk in forgiveness or start the journey of forgiveness towards my brothers and sisters. May you get rid of all bitterness, anger, slander, rage, and may you be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God forgave you in Christ. Grace and peace.